Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So, while I am working on, well, I'm working on the Integra, because I got mad at myself for whining about my wrist too much, and I'm like, man, it doesn't fucking hurt that bad, and I'm, I'm, I'm making some progress on the Integra, actually. Um, and I am working on the big video, kind of like an all-explaining Flat Earth video, like literally just everything that you could think of, or everything that I've bothered to look into, hopefully, if I can remember it all, anyway. But, there's, probably as my loyal subscribers know, occasionally I just can't resist when I happen to catch something. And as I was watching the Colbert sh show, what is it, Late, The Late Report with Conan Colt, wait. Stephen Colbert's late night, late night, late, the late night with Stephen Colbert. Late night with Stephen, yes. Yes. David Colbertelman, or something, I don't know. Stephen Colbeagle, the green screen eagle, and his dog Spot, no. Um, I, I'm, I'm giddy about this. Have you seen it yet? Can you see it? Do you see it right there? Do you see what I'm about to point out? No, oh, my hands do that all the time. See, if astronaut Steve Kelly, who, uh, you yeah. know, Obama didn't really see, uh, seem to pleased to speak to last time, he stopped, talked to his brother or something, and he looked really annoyed that his brother got invited, like he just kind of like, oh crap, this guy, and like I've said, I saw a news report where Obama basically overnight laid off 15,000, and yes, I've verified the number, it's 15,000 NASA employees who were essentially mostly graphic artists and other support personnel. That's what the story said. And the way I can correlate this now is I go and look at that time frame, which I remember that happening, and what I see is that Obama actually laid off a total of 17,000, nearly 16,000 of which worked on the show program in Houston. Okay, so whether or not I'm right about him laying off 15,000 graphic artists depends on how seriously you take the shuttle program. You know, with the air bubbles and the swimming pools and the pudding pops. Oh yeah. So, moving on. Stephen Colbert is doing a live broadcast, okay, um, and CBS passed a probationary period where they can, you know, technically do a minimal delay broadcast, um, you know, since domestic security is 2002, all right, anyway. Well, he's throwing a football. First, throws it to some soldiers. And then, he throws it to astronaut Steve Kelly. And he catches it. And I saw what looked to me like a green screen artifact. You know, I just, I, I, I remember old live broadcast, you know, I, I've seen some live, I mean, some imperfect green screen, green screen videos, you know, have you ever, ever seen an error in a green screen 
video on, on YouTube, for instance. People have their independent green screens, and sometimes they miss a little spot. Or something duplicates, or something lags. And everything else looks fine. Oh, but, you know, if astronaut Steve Kelly, astronaut Steve Kelly is actually in space. First of all, he'd have to speak Russian just to get there. Um, <laughs> but, in space, we don't have live broadcasting green screens, do we? So if he's in space, if Steve Kelly is in space, he should not be in front of a green screen. And if we reverse this, oh, logically, what, what happens? If he's in front of a green screen, then pfft, he's not in fucking space, is he? I'm sorry, was, was, that, was that not complicated? Did I not need to explain that? I didn't think I should have had to, but I just wanted to, just in case. <laughs> Some people actually believe that they don't fake space. Alright, so here it is, unedited. I must claim fair use of this clip so I can prove my case. I'm going to zoom out on my Sony, uh, no, this is my living room TV, my element. It's like a Honda, but not. Okay. So, just going to back it up one trigger. Boom, all right, all right. This next one, this one, I'm to warm up a little bit. This one's a bit of a Hail Mary. Here we go. Boom. There. Scott Kelly. Saw it? The International Space Station. Hail Mary. Here we go. Boom. Astronaut. All right, all right. This next one, this one, I have to warm up a little bit. This one's a bit of a Hail Mary. Here we go. Boom. Astronaut. Now. Oh yeah, I'm good with the pause button, huh? Why couldn't they just give him a football in space? You know? If he's in space, and the Soyuz goes up there all the time, people know the Super Bowl's happening, and I would think, you know, if they're going to be up in space for a while and he likes football so much, he'd probably just have one to toss around in zero gravity, you know? How could you resist that? If that's the case, then why'd they have to uh, do whatever the hell they just did? I don't think he's really holding that football at any point in this video. I don't know. I, I just don't know. I don't know what's going on here. I know that this is evidence that this is fake. Okay? And I haven't, you know, I just saw this right before I, you know, told my children to please be quiet because they're off of school for God knows whatever reason. Um, they're back playing their new 2DSs. And I just hit record. Because that is fake. And if you can't see that's fake, then you're not willing to open your eyes. It's really just that simple. And you know, while my channel can be kind of complicated, it really is also for the people who appreciate the simple things after having a complicated life. Anyways. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace.